All right, this is GIMP, GNU Image Manipulation Program. This is the way the application runs. You'll see it generally with three windows. The first window, the toolbox, has lots and lots of tools and features that we can uh, use in, in making graphics and manipulating graphics. The main graphics window, one will open for each image. And the third one, layers pass, you'll see this has uh, little tabs up here. We can change for uh, different information. Now these tabs, you can add tabs or remove tabs or drag them out. You can change the size of the dialog box by grabbing the edges and squeezing it uh, to make it wider or shorter or however it best fits your workspace. The tabs can be changed if you want to use them in different orders. Just take the tabs and drag them. If you want to take them out to have an independent window, just drag them off. This, uh, where it says the title, this is really a drag bar. You can grab it and just drag it back and forth into the dialog box. And sometimes they don't operate when I'm running another program, such as the screen capture. But I will show you that you can close them like that and then you can add them back to, what was that called? That was patterns. We'll put that back on there like that. So you can do it a couple of ways. You can drag it or you can use this little uh, menu here, pop up from there. You can also completely close this window. Uh, these other two windows, however, have to remain open. If you close either one of these, you've closed the program. If you want your layers back, just click on Window, Recently Closed Tabs, and you'll find that you can open it back. And there we go. So we're going to go through a lot of this desktop um, uh, dialog box, these main uh, windows, and go through them a step at a time. But for now, just know that uh, this is the way that you work with them. Keep them open. And also I want to show you if you right click anytime on the desktop, you'll get the menus here, which is the same as the menus up here. Sometimes it's more convenient if you're working down in this corner and you want to open it, just right click and open a new file if you like. There's uh, always going to be more than one way to do everything, but that's the, the basic layout of the GIMP application. All right, hang on for more.